Cameron Payne is now a free agent and can join with any team after the San Antonio Spurs waived him. I'll discuss the potential for a campaign signing with the Lakers as well as Tristan Thompson, who recently inked a contract with the Cleveland Cavaliers, indicating that he will not be rejoining the Lakers for the next campaign. The Lakers were clearly heading in a new path after they signed Christian Wood. Instead of going after an inside bruiser like Christian Wood or Bismack Bianbo, they chose to go after a stretch bait like Tristan Thompson. While Wood lacks the defensive prowess of either of those players, he will provide an excellent attacking skill set that neither Bismack Bianbo nor Tristan Thompson can match. However, you bring up Cameron Payne, who the Spurs recently waived. Does he suit well as a guard for the Lakers? I mean, there's no denying his talent and his potential to improve his struggling club, but right now the Lakers have a lot of guards on their roster. Austin Reeves is there. Additionally, they have D'Angelo Russell and Gabe Vincent, who will probably be the ones lobbying the most minutes at the point guard position. The Lakers have Max Christie as a backup two guard, and I believe he will play some minutes for them in the coming campaign. The Lakers appear to be quite well stocked at guard right now, so if they were to target someone else, I would assume it would be another big man, possibly a center. However, I believe the Lakers should hold off on making a move and instead wait to see what transpires in the buyout market as they are currently pretty good. Although there are situations when players who are waived in the middle of the season present an opportunity to strengthen your team through the buyout market, I don't think the Lakers have a great chance to strengthen or add a lot of depth to their roster. I think the Lakers are really good right now, even with the talent of individuals like Cameron Payne and Bismick Mayampo, who might be a good rim protector. However, at this time in free agency, I'm not sure where the Lakers would find minutes for either of those guys. I believe that the Lakers' offensive and defensive lines are well-balanced, and that they should be able to maintain their level of play from the previous campaign. They were a top defensive unit, and I think they will continue to be. I believe the Lakers saw great improvement on the offensive end of the court. They add players like Cam Reddish, who I believe could have a high ceiling offensively, and who also has some good physical tools that he could use on defense, along with offensive specialists like Christian Mood and Gabe Vincent, who was a good three-point shooter and could defend for you.